Hi, my name is Deanna Lyons, and I wanted to share with you just a basic round of tapping. Uh, this you can use in, uh, in all sorts of things. Tapping is a really good self-help tool for just about everything. In fact, Gary Craig, the founder of it, says try it on everything, whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, or even if you're wanting to create things. Once you clear whatever's bothering you, you can also then use it to tap in what it is you would like. So the very first uh, thing to do in a basic recipe is to determine what it is that's bothering you or hurting you or the pain. So if I were going to talk about uh, physical pain in my shoulder, then I want to get as specific as possible and um, what that, that feeling is. So uh, if, it were, if it's pain in the shoulder, it's this you know, sharp, pounding pain in my left shoulder and it's kind of got some heat to it. So that gives, it, that gives you a tapping target to actually tap on something. Um, and if it were an emotional pain, like I can't believe I'm really mad at myself for creating this problem with my shoulder, that would be another thing that you could tap on at a separate time. But for now, we're just gonna stick with the pain in the shoulder, uh, but hopefully you get the idea, you can translate it. Um, the second step after you've identified it, made, made it specific, you know what the pain is uh, and you're ready to go, you wanna rate it just so that you get an idea of where you started and where you're going to end up. And you can tell if it's working or not, if the tapping is working or not, uh, and where you might need to go. So the number that you assign is less important. It's really just a reference point. And in tapping, we use a scale often of zero to 10. So zero, zero I'm really feeling this pain. Uh, no, sorry, I'm getting it backwards. <laughs> zero, there's no pain. Uh, and 10, it's off the charts. Um, and so, you know, let's just say that I have this pain and it's about a five. And uh, that's the sense that I have about it. The third step would be the setup statement. And the setup statement to me is the most brilliant part of EFT or tapping. It's this duality of even though, and we'd be tapping on the side of the hand and I'll take you through all these points momentarily, but I wanna give you the steps first. Um, even though I'm having this physical pain in my shoulder, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And if that feels a little too weird, or a little too hard to say, you can say, even though I'm having this pain, I'm okay. But you wanna create both sides of it. I'm having this situation or this problem or this issue, and I'm okay. The truth of the matter is, all is well, even though I'm hurting. <laughs> and so that's the setup statement. And then, the, then I'll take you through the tapping points and you just tap around and you tap on the different things that are bothering you, whatever it is that's going on. And we're gonna be hitting energy meridian endpoints all throughout. Uh, and that's the, um, the beauty of tapping is that we are connecting the mind and the body and allowing them to work together and to start to shift the energy. Uh, that's been blocked with whatever the pain is going. So you go through, you go through the points, and then you reassess after you've done a couple rounds, you check and see, hey, where am I at? Zero to 10. And then you'll know whether or not you need to do more or maybe you're done. You've actually <laughs> reduced the pain and you can go about your business. Um, so let's just do a quick round with that idea in mind and see what happens. So again, that point that I'm gonna talk about is my left shoulder and I'm noticing that there's a sharp pain um, and it's, uh, it's a little, there's some heat to it. And it's about a five, I'm rating it. And then my setup statement is, even though, and I'm gonna tap on the side of my hand, it's also known as the karate chop point, uh, and others are moving away from that term and moving to side of hand. So the side of the hand, even though, I'm having this experience of pain in my left shoulder and it's sharp and it's about on a scale of zero to 10, it's, it's about a five. And I deeply and completely love and accept my shoulder and all parts of my body. Now we're gonna start working through the points. And this is the top of the head, this shoulder pain. And we're gonna to go to the eyebrow, this pain in my left shoulder. Go to the side of the eye. It's about a five under the eye. The pain in my left shoulder is about a five under the nose. This pain on chin 
I can't believe this pain is still here. Collarbone. And I'm hitting on either side of the clavicle, really just kind of getting right here with one hand. I'm getting both sides. This shoulder pain, it's there, and I wish it would go away. I'm going to hit underneath the breast. So this is a liver point. A lot of people avoid this this because it's a little awkward, admittedly. <laughs> but it's a really good point, and I like to keep it in, in the tapping set series that I use. All this shoulder pain. Under the arm, it's right here kind of at the bra strap for us ladies. All this pain in the shoulder. Go to the top of the wrist. I wish the pain wasn't there, but it is. Bottom of the wrist. This sharp pain in my left shoulder. And I'm just going to stop because I've been talking a lot, <laughs> trying to show you what's going on and what to do. And um, that, took, that took some time. And so at this point, I would just reassess and say, hmm, I wonder what's going on. And if you notice that there's still some more pain, if, it's, if it hasn't changed, you need to get more specific. If it's gone up, you're really on to something. And again, stay specific and talk about this remaining pain in the next round. Um, and get even, you know, more and more specific towards your target. And if you're getting less, hey, that's really kind of where we want to go, right? So let's keep on going. And if you get it down to zero, well, <laughs> shoulder pain's all gone. And believe me, that can actually really truly happen. It's one of the reasons why I think you'll see there's a lot of people using tapping in a variety of ways. When we can clear whatever the energetic is, even around physical pain, it can help. Now, if you've broken your shoulder, um, you're still going to have to go see the doctor. <laughs> but uh, you might also at least take away the emotional pain that was connected to the, to the break. So it's helpful in, in all ways. Um, I hope you find this helpful. Stay tuned for more. Um, and thanks for being with me. Thank you.